welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm doing yet again another what I eat in a week video I did this video once before but seeing as my circumstances have changed quite a lot I've been eating quite differently so as most of you guys know I'm living by myself now I started full-time university and I'm actually in a lockdown right now so I'm kind of stuck in a little tiny apartment so I've been eating really really healthy I've been trying to like really make sure I have all my nutrients all my vitamins you know I'm not gaining any unnecessary weight because I noticed I was starting to gain some weight there for a little bit but I was just about to say if you're trying to lose weight or you need some inspiration these are some really good really delicious foods that I have been eating now for the past seven years ever since I lost 60 pounds minus the extra carbs Probably don't eat the extra carbs because I feel like I eat a little bit too many carbs. So anyways, it's 8... 8.40 and I only have 20 minutes until my class starts at 9 a.m. So I'm going to make myself a super, super quick breakfast. I'm going to be making myself some oatmeal with honey, chia seeds, and bananas. Making my way downtown, walking fast, I'm just... Ch -ch -ch chia I feel like I'm filming porn. <laughs> like, why is this so intimate? Making my coffee. I'm making it in here because my kettle broke last week. She just was like, no. Just made it, it's 9 a.m. I'm just waiting for my class to start. Why does that taste spicy? Weird. I just bought a new brand of porridge. Like, is that a spicy porridge? Do people do that? Um, till uh, we get to five past and then we'll kick off. Tiny amounts of DNA. We're thinking about um, the height of adults and babies at which I've denoted body length. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so today didn't really go how I planned. I didn't get my groceries delivered until like 3.30. Then after like I got all that, I had to go to another class. Oh yeah, um, before I start making dinner, by the way, I got a really, really cool delivery that I want to show you guys on the vlog. Hold up. <laughs> You guys, I'm a real YouTuber now. Can I just keep a secret though, you and me? I had to ask for it. I had to ask for it because they never send me like a thing once I reached 100,000. I don't really know why. It's probably because I'm not really like a popular YouTuber or anything. Francesco was like, well, it doesn't really count because you asked for it. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I just wanted to put on my wall and be like, yeah, that's right, bitch. I got 100,000. It's not even for that. It's like a good memorial, you know, in the future. Like, say if I'm not doing YouTube, I would want to keep this because it's really cool. Anyways, I just thought I would show you that. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah. That secret between you and me, okay? Okay, so because I'm trying to be really healthy, you guys, I'm not going to have white rice. I bought brown rice. Oh, I can't. Got it. Because at least I'm getting some nutrients out of this. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. I'm not gonna lie, the aroma of the brown rice is very unappetizing. I feel like I made a bad decision trying to be healthy. Hold up, let me try to make this look cute. I know it may look disgusting, but trust me when I say this is really good. Actually, I don't know if it's gonna be good with the brown rice, you guys, I'm kinda nervous.
so if you know me and you've been watching my channel for a long time you know one thing i have to have every single day is a dessert so i decided actually that starting this week along with like the brown rice i was also gonna start having more healthier desserts which is against my beliefs but I could eat a Reese's bar every single night. Not like the cups, but like the bar. Like I'll eat like a little piece of the bar every day. Like I feel like it's too much sometimes. And I feel like if I keep doing that, like I'm going to get like health problems down the line. So I decided that I wanted to get a healthy alternative. Dark chocolate 70% plus actually is an antioxidant. So it does have some health benefits. It's not as fatty as milk chocolate and I just feel like it'll be good for me even if I do it in small steps and convert myself and I have like one of these and then tomorrow I'll have like a little Reese's and the next day I'll have one of these. This is how much I would have of the Reese's. I'm gonna... Oh my god. Ugh, I might only have one actually. Let's just see how I like it. Yeah, I'm only having one. Wow, oh, I almost gave myself a paper cut. And of course, we'll need some ch 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 chia. I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna move her to the side there. <laughs> we're gonna move her over there and make us some coffee. Hey, bon appetit! Let's go eat! Oh my god, I did get a paper cut, plastic cut from that yogurt. Ouch, do you see that? I'm gonna sue them. I'm joking. I'm sorry, this looks really disgusting, but it's really good, I promise. I made myself a really healthy Greek yogurt with chia seeds, grapes, and bananas, drizzled with honey, and for my coffee, I have nutmegs sprinkled all over. It's so good, it reminds me of Christmas. Halloween, I'm, oh my god, I haven't even had a pumpkin spice latte. Where's the closest Starbucks near here? I'm gonna have to change that real quick. It's not far at all. Bless me. I didn't have a job, no one was funding it, so I had to get side jobs. Um, um, so I've got a, a TV show with um, uh, Nachio Wild, uh, Steve Irwin. So I was very, very extremely lucky to meet Steve when I was younger. So two years later, it may be that long. Um, it, it, Okay, so it's now two o'clock. It feels like I've lived a whole day within the past like three hours. Like it's gone by really quick, but it's also gone by really slow. No, you are so dumb. I think I'm gonna make myself a veggie wrap with hummus and like some feta chickpea salad on the side. That sounds really, really good right now. Okay, so you're gonna need some coriander, mushrooms, peppers, wholemeal tortilla wraps, some cucumber for your salad, and some chickpeas. I recommend if you make this, put feta cheese in it. I didn't put the feta cheese because I put it in my little side salad, but I feel like I prefer it with cheese, like most things. I don't really know how I did that, but I did that. This is the only bowl that I have. Today I'm making some mashed potatoes with asparagus and then I'm gonna just reheat the salmon that I cooked yesterday. How does Cactus Club do this? Hold up. Fuck, I don't have any of that. Okay, hold up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Et voila, here is my dinner. Mmm, this looks so good. Okay, so as I promised myself yesterday, I'm gonna have a Reese's Pieces. Yes, some more. Oh my god, that's so good. I'm a spinach feta omelet with a side of toast, some grapes, meat-free sausages, and a salad. Just kidding. <laughs> I always, always have to have this. Bon appetit! Scratched again. I was like, oh my god, this is so bad. Like, this is so annoying. Okay, so for my lunch, I've decided to make two slices of toast, one with hummus because I'm just really craving it, and avocado, plum tomatoes, and balsamic vinegar. 
And then I have another little side salad with chickpeas, red onions, cucumbers, and lemon drizzled all over it. Which represents a copy of the coding strand. Except dispersed between the chromosomes are over 20,000 genes. Tell me that doesn't remind you of Jurassic Park. The part where they, they just get to the park and they're watching that thing about genes and how they made the dinosaurs. It just always reminds me of that and I'm just like, I'm so tired, I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> Did I scare you? Okay, so it's now 8.30 and my day hasn't even ended yet. I still got a lot of cool stuff to do, but I decided to start cooking now. Tonight I'm going to be making some cod with Brussels sprouts and then I'm going to have my leftover mash. But I'm a little bit worried about the fish because it smells really fishy. I don't normally eat cod, so I don't know if it should be fishy like that. And then I looked up online and people said it should smell fishy but not smell really bad. But the smell is really bad. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. So it's going to be kind of weird, but because I I don't have another pan. I'm just gonna cook it in the pot. Now I'm gonna add some walnuts. I would recommend to use chestnuts because that's the Gordon Ramsay recipe that I originally got this from, but I've always just made it with walnuts because I've never had chestnuts and it's really good. I'm so sorry you guys. I wish I was more aesthetic right now, but this is my dinner. It'd be looking really ugly, but that's okay. Need some tartar sauce, obviously. Bon appetit! Hmm, very fishy. Let's try without the tartar sauce. I think it's okay, actually. We'll know tomorrow. Remember yesterday when I said I was gonna do one day Reese's one day chocolate? I just feel like I've had a really hard day today, so I feel like I deserve this. So for breakfast today, I made myself some Greek yogurt with mango and honey. You have so many kisses if you was with me right now. You're not giving him any kisses. <laughs> <laughs> you have to kiss him sometimes. Chameleons don't want kisses. Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> you, you've become a chameleon psycho. I just find out how people don't find him cute. How do you not find him cute? I don't know. I remember like some random person was like, Megan, I love your videos, but your chameleon terrifies me. Like, I can't watch it. <laughs> I can't watch your videos it's anymore. Oh, I forgot my ch 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 chia my entire life across the country. Good news, guys. I didn't get sick from that fish yesterday, so I'm gonna eat this one. Little bit of tartar sauce, never hurt nobody. I don't know why the Brussels sprouts turn this color. It's kind of gross. <laughs> like, ew. I hate salads, you guys, but this one is quick to make and it actually tastes pretty good. So for the salad, you're going to need avocado, plum tomatoes, chicken breast, feta cheese, and uh, some lettuce. Balsamic vinegar. I don't have my bowl anymore. Should I just eat it in this? Fuck it, right? Okay, so I know it looks really ugly, but here, oh my god, I just flicked balsamic vinegar in my eye. I'm gonna try to eat like Kourtney Kardashian. I have to say this is probably my favorite meal I've had this week. This is really good. So, today I'm gonna be making extra eggs my mouth waters thinking about it i don't know why i haven't had this meal for so long but it it was one of the staple foods that i had when i was losing weight like and it was so delicious it is so delicious why am i saying was it's so delicious got the idea from a magazine and it was saying to put like normal tomatoes and eggs together and it's like substituting bread and i was like that actually sounds really disgusting so i'm gonna try a different way so i did eggs with plum tomatoes avocado and some tabasco stacked so it looks cute
looks like a gourmet meal. Like you would pay like $200 at a restaurant to have that. This looks so good. Okay, maybe minus that. That doesn't really look that appetizing, but. Then on the side, I have some grapes and some coffee. So the way to eat this is you have to eat it all at the same time. Mmm. After 16 hours and 37 degrees, the, the colony will have about a million cells. That's right. I got some KFC. There's just something about this burger that hits different from everyone else. I crave this burger, you guys. This is the Zinger Tower Burger. It's not the Zinger Burger. It's the one with the hash brown in it. It's so good. I'm gonna go enjoy this now. <laughs> I got a food baby. Doesn't it look like I'm about like three months pregnant? Scraped my skin. Ouch. Okay, so I waited until I got home to have my pumpkin spice latte. Did they change their formula? It's good, but it doesn't taste the same. I feel like I've said this before. It is 6.50. I am super duper hungry. So I decided I'm gonna make some pho. Fucking delicious pho. This isn't the traditional way how to make it. So please don't come for me. This is like the white person trying to make pho easy, but it still tastes good. Obviously not as good as like authentic pho, but it still tastes better than like the commercialized restaurants that try to make pho, but they can't really do it because it doesn't really taste like it. Anyways, I'm just popping on now, so let's try to make the pho. <laughs> so the only things that you need are cinnamon sticks. You need some beef stock, so like these little beef cubes, cardamom pods, cloves, coriander seeds, and star anise, anise, I don't know how to pronounce that. An onion, and this isn't pho noodles. This is all I could find though, but get pho noodles, rice noodles. I just remembered I broke my bowl. <laughs> no. I'm still gonna make it anyway, even if I have to refill my bowl two times. So you take five star anise. You smell like Christmas. Oh, it smells like licorice actually. One, two, three. Four cloves, some cinnamon sticks. Now this smells like Christmas. You need two cardamom pods. A oh no! And then a spoonful of coriander seeds. Serving number one. Oh my god. That tastes so good. There must be a study or something that scientifically proves that pho makes you feel good. Because I feel so good right now. The warmness just going down your throat and the smell. The smell stays in your house for a few days. So just warning you if you do make this because all the, like, the spices. Francesco hates it, but I love it. Okay, I'm going to go enjoy this now. Round two. I'm so excited for this. How am I excited for it? I already just had it. <laughs> and to end off this What Are You In The Week video, we got to do it right. So, gonna have my Reese's for my dessert, and yeah, cheers. What the, f why is this so good? Why does this taste extra good today? Mmm, that's it. I can't, it's too good. Reese's Pieces sponsor me. It's been 25 years I've been alive, and I just find it really, really rude that you still haven't sponsored me. So Reese's Pieces, I like how I randomly had a knife here. It's just because I was cutting, I left my, 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 my dishes, I gotta clean them, so. Was it a coincidence that there's a knife here? 
No, there's not. I'd be waiting for your email. <laughs> I'm joking, imagine. Watch them be like, we'll pay you not to eat it. <laughs> That'd be nice too, actually. No, it wouldn't be nice. What am I talking about? I gotta go. I gotta go do reading. So anyways, I love you guys. Bye. Bye.